Everyone tries to figure out the one true question. Most people go their entire lives trying to find the answer. I figured it out. The instant we are conceived, we know the answer. We are born with the all-knowing. But when we begin to grow and experience our journey on this beautiful planet, we are misled from our true origin. My story has been an eventful one, just like yours. Unique in its very creation. Back in May of 2008, a week before I turned 20, my father took his life from the excessive use of alcohol. He was incredibly loving and caring of my brother and I. One thing his death helped me understand is unconditional love. True, unending compassion. Things didn't end very well between my dad and I, but when I saw his lifeless body lying there, the anger and hate instantly relinquished. My love for my father has grown exponentially since then, and I peacefully carry his unconditional love with me. It is this loving bond that we as beings of creation have that is incredibly powerful. Recently I was introduced to the two most powerful words when combined. Love, life. The other day he emailed me or on my Facebook and said, I've never seen a person smile as much as you. And what puts a smile on my face is when I'm walking down a road with love life over my head and 10 people have driven by me going, just staring at me. And then some little sweetheart of a little girl just goes, oh, love life! Or some guy, a young guy goes, yes! You know, the steering wheel. Put your hands back on the steering wheel, sir. But uh, that makes me smile. Steve Fugit lost his son to suicide and his daughter to an accidental drug overdose. In enduring his hardships, he found the truth that I've been looking for. Steve now walks around the country spreading his love for life. I guess when I lost both my children, I, uh, I expressed, you know, I, I screamed out. I was just screaming out, I guess, crying out to the center of the universe, God. And I said, just let me hear their voice one more time. Just let me, uh, let me see them breathe, and I'll leave immediately. And then I got to thinking about other people's young, and I got to thinking about how, I didn't want other people to go through what I'd gone through. And I, it, somehow I got my eyes off myself long enough. That's what happens in life. If you really want to grow in life, you have to get your eyes off yourself. And you have to think about others. That's, that's when maturity comes about. I want to love all of my fellow human beings. I don't want anything to separate me from them a political difference, a religious difference, so I take on no labels. I have that young person standing in front of me and they're contemplating taking their own life. I don't want one damn thing to come between me and that precious human heart. The power is not as we've been taught in numbers. The power is in your individuality. It's in quality, not quantity. Life is just an experience, so why not live it? Do what brings you happiness. Follow the path of highest excitement. What is preventing you from doing what puts a smile on your face? Why are you holding back? These are questions I've been asking myself lately, and I found the answer. When you learn to accept your fears, judgments, and denials, only then will you be able to live life to its fullest. So what are you waiting for? Follow your heart, live life, love life.